The latest exhibition at the Bronx Art Space is titled Tyranny's Tear, Mending in Dominican Trauma. The artwork is centered during the tragic time of dictator Rafael Trujillo from 1930 till his assassination in 1961. The exhibition is curated by Linda Cunningham and was conceptualized by Moses Rose Suarez, whose family were survivors from Trujillo's dictatorship. Moses says that he has been affected greatly by the horror afflicted on his family, but still finds it important to share his story with the community. My work is not always personal. It's very, um, I guess, uh, uh, like I guess, uh, contemporary, not dealing with these uh, issues. But this was important for myself personally, and also uh, for the Dominican community and the, and the general uh, uh, public at large to uh, be aware of, of this history because uh, it's important not to forget one's history because you know, then you're, uh, you're you know, uh, you know, condemned to uh, repeat that. With the footsteps coming into the gallery is giving the neighborhood a way to get involved in what might, you know, they might see here and invoking the curiosity of people who normally wouldn't bother to look at art. Um, it's extremely uh, poignant imagery uh, of um, a hideous era where uh, it's very much like what the Nazis did in Germany the, and then uh, Khmer Rouge did in Cambodia, photographing the people they wanted to torture before and after. It's kind of hard to believe. In addition to the artwork and sculptures, exhibitors were able to take in a reading of the play The Downfall of Rafael Trujillo, created by husband and wife team director Candido Dorado and playwright Carmen Rivera. I think um, dealing with the suffering of a people, you know, and dealing with the suffering of the Dominican people really opened up a lot of stuff to us. Um, you know, I grew up with Dominicans here in the South Bronx. Actually, I lived across the street when I was growing up. So, and I saw a lot of people coming here in the 60s, coming, you know, running away from Trujillo. I didn't know what Trujillo meant. I was a little kid. I remember the time he died, I was living in Puerto Rico, and we celebrated in Puerto Rico in the countryside. So, you know, I was a kid, but everybody knew he was like a monster. And when Carmen started doing research for the play, we actually got to know who he was. I think one of the things that inspired me while I was working on the play was the, the, the strength of the spirit in the Dominican Republic, the spirit of the Dominican people. Like to survive a dictatorship for seven years, for five years, for 10 years, but for 30 years. It's such, a, it, it just inspired me so much about the, the, the stories of survival, the stories of, of dignity, the stories of strength. So it was like I wanted to, at the end, we end with the Dominican spirit stronger than ever. The viewing of Tyranny's Tear Mending and Dominican Trauma will be going on at the Bronx Art Space till June 4th. For more information, log on to BronxArtSpace.com. For BronxNet, I'm Veronica Guiti.